of baby pinatas ready to grow up. The baby goes into a cocoon where it grows to its adult size. When it has grown, it will hatch okay. as a young adult. If you get impatient, you could give the cocoon some encouragement with your shovel. <laughs> okay, we must emphasize that word. Now let's figure out... So this is our cocoon, I assume. Encouragement, eh? You've got two Sparrow Mint residents now. That's okay. good work. The next stage is to get them to romance. Open the menu and look in the journal, or you can put the cursor... Okay, I get it. No, I didn't want to whack the snake. And... Okay, it's already out of its cocoon, so that was kind of pointless. I was whacking all my pinatas for nothing. Now that you have raised a baby worm, I feel like I can really trust you. I have two seeds that are ideal for someone okay. in a new garden. Hmm. You can have either one. So we can pick one Each seed, eh? Seed from either hand by moving the left stick. Let's go with this purple one. Ah, yes, a good choice. When you get back to the garden, okay. your cursor will be holding the seed. You need to plant this type of seed in soil. Look at the buttons displayed in the top right of the screen. Yes, I would like to find out what seed. kind of seed that is. Or you can press Y now, and the journal will give you a full explanation. Okay, okay so you could pick up seeds and store them on top of the ground, apparently. Or you can just directly plant them. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just plant it. Uh, we'll put it right here. And sure, we'll go with that. The next time you put the cursor over a plant, you'll notice the water meter. It shows how much water a plant Makes has. Makes sense. You can okay, use I get it. Well okay. done. You've planted your seed, but you'll need to water it to help it grow. Without water, the plant will turn okay, yellow so and die. Okay, so we have a watering can that's all beat up. Sure. Give us the most lame equipment you could possibly give us. Okay, so we get this rinky-dink water can. Once again, the buttons in the top right of the screen can help okay. you use the watering can. But if you'd prefer yes, more I would like to know, because apparently you can't tell us in this box immediately. Okay. Okay, so I guess there's two ways you can control this thing. A to give one spurt, and X to control how much to spread out and to stop. Okay, got it. Now the thing is, next time I record again, I'm going to forget all about what just happened here. Okay, so short pour. At least there's a prompt at the top right of the screen to tell you, you know, what's going on here. Okay, that was probably too much. <laughs> I should have known better. <laughs> this is a lot of things to tend to. You got your pinatas, you got these plants that you gotta worry about. Now it's over... oh, okay, it's not over Warg anymore, but it was. At least everyone's in love, though. We have a sparrow mint. And we still have you, but you're not a permanent resident yet, this snake thing. Might be all just for the better, though, because you know how snakes are. They're slithering liars. <laughs> okay, and... We still have other junk that we have to take care of. I'm thinking now might be a good time to stop, but I'm not sure how much more tutorial there is to go. Gosh, I don't know. I think I will stop here once we figure out what this thing does. You seem to have most of the basics now. So see what you can do with the rest of the day before the sun goes down. Okay. Maybe I don't want to do that though. Did you think about that? Although we get another cute creature coming, a mouse mellow. Oh, it's so cute. I know I'm not one of those people who despises rats and mice. I 
people need to have an open mind when it comes to pets, really. <laughs> now, there are some things that are questionable, I will admit, but, you know, everyone's different that way. That'll be another story for another time. So, we got a mouse melon up here. Okay, so we could probably put our watering can away. Um, let's go back to this plant. Did it say pick up? So it's a turnip. That's it? There's no other info? Okay. Interesting. So she wants us to romance more of these things. Which I guess we can do. Oh, and suddenly a moth appears. Moth drop. I guess we're good at just getting all these creatures to appear out suddenly out of the blue. Well done. You attracted a moth drop. When the sun goes down, the moth drop will look okay. for a suitable garden. Okay, I was in the middle of romancing these two again. It looks like they're about to do just that. So apparently we're going to get another rave party as soon. Oh, it skips the rave party. We just go right to the mini game. Actually, no, I think the rave party happens after the mini game. I'm so lost at this point. <laughs> I imagine this mini game gets a lot harder with other pinatas. I mean, that would only make sense. You know, because these seem like to be the most basic pinatas that you can have at your garden. So, so far. You know, I'm, I'm still liking this, you know. I just haven't really commentated too much because I'm still figuring things out here. And I want to make sure that I do things the right way. I already did make the mistake of whapping my pinatas with the shovel by accident. Okay, are you doing anything inside there? Oh, there you go. So we can look inside, maybe. Okay then. I guess we have to wait till they do their business in there, so to say. Here is your clock. From now on, you can see what time it is in okay, the Okay, that's handy. Some gardeners use their clock to predict which wild piñata will show up. Okay, I imagine. So this game has like a day and night system too. Interesting. Oh, it's saving for me. Okay. Okay, are you two done? Am I going to get another egg maybe? I thought she wanted me to romance these two, and it looked like they are. I'm just waiting for an egg to appear. Hopefully it'll come soon. Oh yeah, there that... Creepy stork lady comes and gives us our egg. I still didn't understand earlier about the thing with um, the label thing or whatever it was that she was saying earlier. I mean, I'll be looking back at this video and probably figuring out my own mistakes and learning from them. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of editing here. But we have another worm. Okay, so we have to wait for it to become a cocoon. I remember that part. Okay, we have you. And... Is that it? 
And we still have this turnip thing to worry about. So yeah. Still gotta figure things out here. Again, I'm just like half confused, half intrigued, I guess you could say, by everything that's going on here. Definitely a very different game though overall. Okay, so you're becoming a cocoon. Now she said about encouraging it with a shovel. Maybe I can do it this time without... Okay. That works. <laughs> now we can put that away. And... Here are the experience petals. Can you see them around the clock? Okay, something new now. When you do something to help the garden, the petals will turn blue. If you'd like some more information about the experience petals, press Y. Okay, yeah, let me journal. look at this then. Now, let's see how many experience points you have gained from your work so far. So we get gardener level increases. This is suddenly an RPG. <laughs> So there's beads as well, eh? Okay. Sure, we'll go with that. You've leveled up. You filled the petals around the clock. Which means you've taken a step closer to becoming a truly great gardener. All kinds of things happen when you become a better gardener. New shops open, new items appear in the shops, new pinatas will want to visit, new characters appear, and Cedos will have new seeds in his pouch. Okay, great. So now that we have that figured out and don't have to worry about it anymore, um, I think I'm going to stop here, unless something else prompts me before I get a chance. Okay, how do I save the game? Oh, here it is. Save and continue, anyway. Save and quit. Okay, this is what I want. So yeah, I'm going to stop the recording here. This was an interesting recording session, and it took way longer than I thought it would. This is definitely going to be split into multiple parts. And the thing I said about 10 videos being the minimum, it could still happen, but I think it's going to take more than that after what i just seen today till I figure things out here. Until next time, though, guys, this is Tobe Wonderland. I apparently fell down the biggest rabbit hole of all as I am now doing a blind Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know the commentary was really, like, dry today. Just was quiet in some parts and I do appreciate you sitting through it all because I know it can be a bit stumbly I mean this is a blind let's play till I can figure things out you know with how the game works what I'm gonna do for the future videos all that good stuff now I don't think I'll be doing too much off-screen stuff but it just depends how much I learn from the game and if there's like a lot that needs to be done or not Apparently we've learned a lot of new things though with leveling up our gardener, romancing the piñatas, attracting new piñatas, and tending to our garden, which is still a wreck, and we have the most rinky-dink equipment we possibly could have gotten. Till next time guys, this is Tub Wonderland, I'll see you guys later.